Well, good evening, Facebook friends and fellow bridge builders. It's good to be with you this evening. And if you saw the earlier post of, of this uh, broadcast, I need to assure you of something. We have packed some book, books, some of our books in boxes. And uh, if you saw the type of boxes that we were packing them in, you might notice that, that um, <laughs> liquor stores have the best boxes. I just want you to know that. And I want to assure you that the boxes we used to pack our books in, uh, they were they came into this office empty and they're going out full, not the other way around. <laughs> All by way of saying this. We have some news to share with you. And if you tuned into our, our broadcast on Sunday for our worship service, you've already heard this. But for those of you that might not caught the news, uh, Rhonda and I have been reappointed to Fort Wayne Leo United Methodist Church. How to, how to explain what I'm feeling about that? Um, I think the best way to explain it would be this. There is an old Confucian proverb that goes something like this. He who would climb high must leave much behind. That proverb has been much on my mind for the last couple of weeks. If, you, if your worldview is shaped uh, by uh, personal ambition, then that proverb makes a great deal of sense, doesn't it? But with all due respect to Confucius, I have a slightly different, slightly different take on that proverb based on my Christian worldview, and it goes something like this. He who would faithfully follow Jesus must leave behind things that are precious and dear on more than one occasion. On Tuesday, May 19th, I received a call about taking a new appointment. On Tuesday, May 26th, we had a take-in at Fort Wayne Leo United Methodist Church. And like I said, if you were with us last Sunday, you heard us announce that to our congregation. Now, if Confucius were my counselor, he might say something like this. How fortunate for you that you're going to a large suburban church in our conference in a rapidly growing suburban area. How fortunate for you that you have a unique skill set to meet their demands and needs in this very challenging time for them. But here's the point. I mean, Confucius is not my counselor. Jesus is. So how to navigate this? How do we navigate this very difficult time, this heaviness of the heart and this new ministry challenge? I want you to know this. Rhonda and I are very excited about the ministry opportunity in Fort Wayne. We really are. Can't lie to you. But our hearts are also very, very heavy. And that also is quite true. They are heavy because in order to take that opportunity, we must be behind much and many of you that have become precious and dear to us. Indeed, your fingerprints are all over our hearts and we will never forget you. But go we must because follow Jesus we will. You see, uh, how do you balance the excitement over this new ministry opportunity and, and uh, the reality that we have to leave a thriving one that we've come to love so much? How do you balance that? Well, for Rhonda and myself, we turn to our ultimate counselor. We turn to Jesus. And I can assure you that when Rhonda and I decided to follow Jesus, especially in this adventure that we're in right now, we didn't decide to follow him just when it was pleasant. We didn't decide to follow Jesus just when it was convenient to do so. We decided to follow Jesus no matter what. We decided to follow Jesus even when it's hard, especially when it's hard. And friends, this is hard. Rhonda and I are following Jesus. But more than that, we want you to know that uh, we are praying for whoever it is that will follow us here at Remington. Well, we don't know yet who that will be. I can tell you this. You deserve a pastor who will follow Jesus no matter what and who will encourage you to do the same. On that note, I, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing this pastor to be that guy for you for the last four years. Thank you for being a people of vision and courage. 
I'd like you to know that our last Sunday will be uh, here at Remington will be on June 14th. Our staff parish relations committee is is planning a farewell for us that day right after church. Uh, so for those of you that feel comfortable uh, about joining us in church in person, please feel to, free to come to church and then join us right after for our farewell celebration. But I don't want you who are taking a more cautious approach to this pandemic uh, to feel left out. Uh, we're going to take care of you too. We will have a drive-through here at the church in the church parking lot on that same Sunday, June 14th, from 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Eastern Standard Time to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we would love you to drive by and through your window from a socially appropriate distance to uh, meet with us and to, to share some memories with us and so that we can we can share our hearts with you and that we can say our goodbye in that way. We would love to greet you and we hope that you can come that day if if you're able to, and if you feel comfortable and safe doing so. So here are a couple more thoughts before I part company with you tonight. First of all, we have not gone yet. You'll be hearing from me on Facebook again before it's all said and done. And in addition, I'm quite confident that God is at work through our Methodist system to find just the right person. And that just that just right person is waiting to come here and be your pastor. He or she may not know it yet, but God is grooming them for a time such as this. And I can also tell you this. Our conference superintendent, Lori Wynn Gibson, and her colleagues on the cabinet are working hard and praying hard for God's discernment to come up with just that right person and whoever that might be. But there's more to this than that. I happen to know Pastor Lori. We go back a long way. And I know her heart. And I know that her heart is with you here at Remington United Methodist Church. And she's aware of the difficult transition that this can be at this point in the appointment season. And she's committed to making sure that just the right person comes here to Remington United Methodist Church. She's determined to make sure that you get a really good pastor here. So please keep that in mind and that whoever that person is, it won't be me. They won't be like me. They'll have a different skill set than me. Just like I'm not Pastor Mary, and just like I'm not Pastor Jackie, that new person won't be Pastor Jeff. And that's okay. But I can assure you of this, that the new pastor who does come to you will be anointed by God to lead you. So in the words of our ultimate counselor, let not your hearts be troubled. You hang on to that. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord give, toward, turn his countenance towards you and give you peace. And all of God's people said, Amen. Catch you next time.